You know what's better than being an activist for gun rights? Leading the fight for gun rights. Hey guys, it's Phil with Gun Owners of America and this is the Minuteman Moment. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment about anything other than where I got this hoodie. The only thing the retread commies in our government like more than taking away your home, your freedoms, your money, and your values or your guns is getting your attention. It's no secret that Biden's poll numbers are sinking like a rock and his party's fortunes in the upcoming November elections are looking grimmer than a reaper. In order to appeal to the winos and deadbeats who voted for him, President Biden had a press conference recently with three goals in mind. First, prove that a Saudi Arabian comedian's portrayal of him was inaccurate. Putin, Putin, listen to me. I have a very important message to you. The message is, and Biden failed there. The second goal was to introduce Steve Dettelbach as his nominee for director of ATF. And comment below on what you think Dettelbach looks like. What I might say is that Dettelbach looks like a triple A baseball coach, a failed mob boss, or a kid who went to the Magic Genie at the fair and wished to be big. If we can get this game right, I think the comment section is going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, the third goal was to introduce a final rule from the ATF which cracks down on homemade guns and expands the ATF's illegal registry, which has nearly a billion records. In a recent episode, I talked about the whole press conference, but not much about the rule. Although our legal team and our federal team at Gun Owners of America are still analyzing the rule and its implications, we do want to share some things about it with you now. For one, we've been tracking this rule since it was originally proposed back in May of last year. GOA was able to rally pro-gun activists into pressuring the ATF and the administration to make it less awful. But we're a no compromise kind of organization, so we're not gonna back down. From what GOA's legal analysts were able to find, if this rule goes into effect, we will see a near total ban on all homemade firearm kits. All current ATF approved kits will need to beg ATF again for its approval. And if you buy any of them, your name and gun will be added to the registry. Keep in mind, there is no indication Biden will allow any kit to get re-approval. Now here's some good news. Because we were able to put out good information, a lot of news outlets like Washington Post, CNN, USA Today, PBS, UK Independent, CBS, NPR, The Associated Press, Twice, and even Al Jazeera are deferring to GOA as the top gun rights organization following this issue. GOA's framing of the narrative is also driving the discussion. Senior Vice President Eric Pratt's piece in the Philadelphia Inquirer prompted an anti-gun response from the Chicago Tribune and a pro-gun response from YouTube channels like Bearing Arms. It's because of your support for GOA we've become big enough to cause both sides of the debate to respond the way we want the issue framed. That's power and influence you can't buy. It has to be earned. And that's not all. Congress has noticed GOA's work as well. For months, we've been talking with members of Congress on how we're gonna fight this using the Congressional Review Act, also known as the CRA, and our work paid off. Shortly after Biden's press conference, Senator Ted Cruz announced he was going to do exactly what we've been saying pro-gun members should do drop a CRA. We know that Senator Cruz is being an effective member of Congress because shortly after he announced what he was doing, the left got furious that a senator would dare to have a spine. The Houston Chronicle's editorial board put out a deranged piece saying, Cruz's Second Amendment absolutism makes about as much sense as a man stepping into a subway car and opening fire with a Glock. Well, on that, a legislator trying to protect people's constitutional rights to build homemade firearms, which has been unregulated for hundreds of years, is not the same as a mass murderer. So the journalists can just go ahead and see right there. Second, the subway shooting they're referencing had nothing to do with a homemade firearm. They're just manipulating people's emotions by politicizing that appalling tragedy for a policy which has no connection to it. The anti-gunners are trying desperately to act as if this is all about containing crime. But even the examples they provide demonstrate that this is not meant to address crimes, but add more guns and gun owners to their registry which will be used for gun removal. To be clear, we're not sure that this Congressional Review Act is even going to see the House floor for a vote, let alone pass the House or get signed by President Biden. But what we will do is force vulnerable anti-gun senators to vote yes or no on banning homemade guns, 
possibly costing them their re-election. This is the kind of work you can build on for future wins. But we need you to spread the message, share this video, and tell your friends and family to contact their elected officials, and you can do so yourself by clicking the link below. Share on social media your support for Senator Cruz's efforts, and tell more people about the ATF's gun registry and how Congressman Michael Cloud's no registry rights bill will put an end to it for good. Do it now, or I'll tell Saudi Arabia and Kamala Harris you didn't. Thank you, old. Hallelujah, clap to your president. Clap to your president right now. All right, that's it for this time. I'll see you soon.